Summer is fast approaching, so why not put your best face forward and get the celebrity look? Nicole takes us shopping for sunglasses only a star would wear. Oh, those are pretty. Well, it's about time to be wearing the sunglasses, so we're here at La Lunetterie, which is French for eyewear. But the French didn't make sunglasses so popular, celebrities did. And we're going to ask them, how do we get that celebrity look for less? So when we want to get that celebrity look, what's the first thing we should really be concerned with? Is it brand name? Brand name could be an option, but particularly is shape and color. Some shapes wear the trend more easily, but every face can pull off that Hollywood look if it's done correctly. Because what you may love on another celebrity may not fit you, kind of like hairstyles. Yeah, yeah. People can bring in a photograph. We can then maybe give them the interpretation that's right for them. This is a very cool company out of Southern California. It's manufactured in Japan and it's called Barton Pereira. And these are the sunglasses that Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Kate Beckinsale wear. And obviously they could afford to put anything on their faces, so they're probably good enough for me. They may look initially if you put them side by side like something else, but once you feel them and once you and once you wear them on the face, the fit is far superior. When we're shopping for sunglasses, how can we tell the difference between a $400 pair and a $40 pair, obviously except for the price tag? They may look very, very similar outwardly, same color, same shape. The $40 pair of sunglasses, you know, put them on, they'll be fine for maybe a short amount of time, but they're going to break a lot more easily. The $400 pair, all the components, the finish, the lens quality, and everything is far superior. And it also means that over time, it can be readjusted. It's not going to go out of shape as fast, and if it does, then it can more easily be realigned. The everyday person, whether it's a soccer mom or a would-be celebrity or, you know, the young girl, the young teen girl that wants to pull off a fashionable look, they can do it providing they get the correct fit for their face. And some people can do it themselves, but it's always better if you have an expert that can point out the flaws and the fantastic fits for you. Now, Shelly here has a slimmer, slightly more angular face. So what's going to work well on her is something that's softer, like a soft oval or a soft rectangle, anything that doesn't have sharp pointed edges. For red hair, they work really well with the classic tortoiseshell. Kathleen has a fuller face. It's a nice oval, which means she can wear almost any shape. But we went with a fun for her. She's young, and this is one of the great colors for the summer, this great violet. If you have a very round face, you want to avoid totally round. You want to wear something a little bit more that has slightly more exaggerated corners. Thank you, I love them. You're welcome, bye-bye. It was a big decision picking out this little pair of sunglasses, but it does make sense. It's the first thing people see, and it can make a big statement, especially when you want that celebrity look. Just make sure they fit properly. They're not a good deal, even if they're inexpensive, if they don't fit right, kind of like clothes, and have a professional help you. They have stylists. We have salespeople. Seems like a good trade-off. For better, I'm Nicole Camerata. See you guys later. Great looking sunglasses. And another tip, use a microfiber cloth to clean your sunglass lenses. Regular fabric will only push the grease around. This has been Better.TV. For more stories like the one you just saw, catch the weekday television program Better, your source for styles, trends, relationships, beauty, fitness, and other stories that will help make your day better. Check local TV listings to see if Better airs in your city. Thanks for watching.